I can't remember which one he's playing. It's this one. Yeah. I messed it up. Um, Carter, could you stand still for a few seconds, please? Please. It's all good. Right yeah, just jumping right in and scrapping as much as possible. It's one of the first times we've seen um, Spiky Mike 91 make an appearance in uh, Ultimate Devils Finals. Props though. Good first. We've got the yellow team absolutely chuffed and shield on the left side. Oh, a nice little team combo from the off the edge guard there. But uh, oh, but <laughs> putting uh. Maywell right back on stage in the danger zone. That up smash barely missing. Because you going, what? What? What the heck? You just start raging and throwing a fit? Yeah. Oh my god. Tantrum <laughs> a little tantrum tantrum moment. Uh, regardless, Blue Team's got quite a big control on stage. Pyro is going to take the first stock of the set. And not the last, in fact. Probably will not be the last. Yeah. Spiky Mike 91 doing an amazing job of holding down the fort completely uh, and not really ever giving up center stage except for with the illusion. Not cool, dude. Nadia trying to make a push for that center, but is he kind of almost playing this like 2v1 edge guard thing in the at ledge trap situation in the corner? The strategy is working extremely well. Anytime they ever try and make it out to center, he's throwing him right back. Ooh, spiky Mike, he's throwing him right back. Don't get it twisted, of course. And that final jab doesn't actually hit music good spacing. That up be gonna kill, holy mackerel, that was not very close. And that myth for first stock is gonna evaporate, but A will actually on his last stock, so. Yeah, these are, this blue team is known for moving extremely quick, and the brackets also move extremely quick. They have not lost a bracket they didn't have together yet since we came back from uh, a pandemic. Blue team now kind of opting for these one v ones, and I think it's working because this Fox and uh, Fox and Pika is actually going really well for Fox, which is not really a traditional part of this matchup or a traditional. Standard of Great illusion actually puts them way off stage. Now they have the ledge trap situation with both of them together. That uh, downer gonna send them the wrong way, but gets the up smash regardless. Rob's so heavy that it's not gonna put them too much dire. Uh, up beat will kill though on the platform. Anyone, any day. That's a that's a tough one to live. That's uh, a one last So it is a two v one now for the blue team. Going for a safe uh, option there. He gets a dash attack and up tilt, but now he's quick. Gets counter hit and then gets another counter hit. That down air gets second. The illusion puts him on stage. That's dangerous. That's a uh, great stuff. That up tilt off of the quick attack, really good stuff. Running in with the back air, Pyra up there. This damage is just racking up there at 70, 83. Up smash not gonna get the, the roll read, unfortunately. Good, good nair trade there. That's perfect for what you want with Fox. Yeah, and then the up smash doesn't connect on the last. Like, that's sad. And everyone's dead, unfortunately. Oh, <laughs> but both of these guys had another stock in the pocket, and that up smash is gonna take game one. Good luck to Blue Team. Spiky Mike with the fast bands. No, I call him Spiky Mike because we're not friends. Just call him Mike. No, we're not friends. Sorry. It's professional here. Yeah, I'm trying to keep it professional, of course. Ooh. Kind of a dominating performance and uh, implementation of strategy. I really liked how Blue Team played that. You can put as much strategy in if you want. It's but if you can't outplay them in the in the kind of the scrap situations, it doesn't matter how smart you are. You gotta be good too. And now on Yoshi's Rob has the potential to kill so much earlier on light characters like Fox. Fox, I think he's as light as Pikachu. But I think they're next to each other on the weight scale. Twinning, exactly. Ooh, 
great stuff, that grab, and, and uh, yeah, uh, Nadio was kind of locked in the stun there because each pummel was also hitting Nadia even though Nadia wasn't grabbed. Now Fox off stage against Pikachu here is going to unfortunately result in a death. That's just kind of how Fox Pikachu goes. Uh, not really something you can uh, avoid every single time. That gyro coming back a little hot. Rob using a lot of gas, but now he's back to ledge. But they're kind of putting the pressure on Naughty here, looking to take the stock. Uh, comes up with the uh, aggressive fair, works out. Back hit of up smash in the up smash. <laughs> in the up air, lives just barely, even though the 90. Makes it back against that Rob side, be really good stuff. Easy. Gonna trump ledge, and then. Oh, he just stands there! He tries to get the read, doesn't quite get it, but still. The cojones! On that guy to try and pull off that play. Props. Now Fox off stage. He's gonna go with an aggressive fair. That's something you see super often. That was awesome. That thunder gonna actually oh and now he gets hit with the gyro. Now he gets hit with the back air. He's just getting hit with the whole kitchen sink illusions right to ledge. And it's gonna work out pretty well for him. Two up tilts on the rob into a down air. Trying to push a little advantage here. That neutral B from Mithra is gonna be exactly what BZ needs. So he's on ledge, doesn't quite get the back air though. Just Barely misspaces it against the Rob Laser. Now it looks like AWOL might be trying to make something happen on Mithra here. Top flat is not where you want to be against Rob. But makes it back safely. Good, good defense from uh, Spiky Mike there. Now maybe it's just trying to put on the offense. Pyra's out. She's hungry. Side be coming out, hitting his teammate, hitting the opponent. And the S smash is going to connect. Great stuff. And now the 1v1 is back. And it looks like Pyra is going to be playing offense. Even though being a little bit higher in percent. They can make things happen. Usually in these 2v1 situations, it's Pinku plays. I mean, when they're not on the ledge, Pink is going to try and grab. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Spooky Mix is going to try and grab. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. Great downer. Good catch. And that's 2-0. This is the uh, winner's final. Yeah, that's the final. Yeah. BO5. BO5, of I course. I remember the abbreviations. Yep. Yeah. Good stuff all around. <laughs> Ooh, they're picking tune. Yeah, they got their own music and all. Going to Northern Cave here, the Sephiroth music is on. Oh, okay. A good song. It's a good, it's a, it's a slapper, a yeah. humdinger for sure. We approve. Oh, wait, I Good song. It gets demonetized. It gets demonetized. What are you guys doing? What? That's a volume. Turn it off. Turn off the volume. Get the Delgado machine down. <laughs> Alrighty. Be us yes. This one. Quick SD from Nadia there. Yeah. It's not really what you want to see when you're down 2-0 uh, from your from your one of the best players in the province. That aggressive up, you're gonna do some big damage. Not quite gonna get the conversion. A downer on Pikachu. Fox is off stage. Goes for the oh. Now he's kind of expended his options here, but illusions to ledge, and uh, that's gonna be. Safe recovery. He's still off stage. Gets down aired, but not off stage. Still just in this battle with Nadia, trying to make it back to stage. Oh, deeks him a little there and ended up another Nadia. He's got to pull it together, rally, brother. You got a, You got another game to play. And it's a shield break on AWOL, actually, that up smash is going to take it. This is looking like a complete disaster, a train off the rails for the yellow team. Their winner's gas might have just run out like a Rob Ugby. <laughs> they need something amazing, and that's the third stock from uh, from Nadia, unfortunately, going to share with his buddy AWOL. But now they're on their last two, and uh, only one has been taken off the blue team so far. Goes for a huge edge guard on AWOL. <laughs> Fox is uh, is just a just a star fighter, not a circus performer, unfortunately. 
Oh, great conversion from fair to backer. Not going to kill, but going to make it pretty darn close. The stock's actually pretty even here because of some antics from the blue team, but now it's going to be a 1v1 with three blue team stocks to work with, all at quite low percent. Nair to back air to up air to neutral B. The neutral B didn't hit, but it looked pretty nice. Yeah. There's a Mithra neutral B. Oh. Oh and a snipe! God. Oh, he's It's not, not too close to killing, but. Yeah. It was kind of cool. cool. Are you freaking kidding me? Says BZ. Yeah. <laughs> and just the up smash on the back here, gonna yeah, catch him, and that's 3 0 for BZ and Spiky Mike. Good stuff. Good, good, uh, good play. That was, that and the strategy that was implemented in game.